All right, welcome, welcome, um, Aries, uh, um, to the Gemini season. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Oh, please remember to like and share and choose one of these crystal, whichever crystal, uh, choose one of these uh, symbol, whichever symbol affects you. Okay. All right. So I see, um, you're coming in with some sort of a balance, trying to balance out your financial situation. Some of you, uh, might be looking for a job. Some of you could have been going through financial hardship where, um, you know, you lose a couple hours or you lose some, uh, a work and you're trying to regain and balance by finding a new one. In the third week, you will find a new one. And I see that some of you, some sort of a contract that was a contract is open for some of you if you want it. Okay. So be um, aware. And it's as if this contract, whatever is there in the last week of Gemini season, you might be turning down or it's as if a contract is there and you're trying to figure out, should I go this direction? Should I go with this contract? Should I access this contract? Should I take this contract on? And it's as if uh, um, a lot of you are questioning a lot of things and it's okay to question things. Um, this Gemini season is going to be, you're trying to bring some sort of a balance to some sort of a contract. Um, you're trying to, a whole lot of you were having financial issues, but, um, if you have lost a job, because this week of the, week of the 21st until the 27, whatever is transpiring, if you like, it's a, you know, people who are on, uh, Teachers who are on holiday, um, you are going to be um, trying to figure out how to balance out your financial situation and how um, to create extra business, extra financial flow to come in your world. Okay, so you're taking this week to really looking at uh, what direction to go in and where to go. Mm -hmm. So this is something that a lot of you are going to be. And it is, is, balance is about uh, trying to figure out, well, am I going to take a job? Am I going to be staying self-employed? What is going on? What, what, what is it that I really want? It's as if you have a lot of bias up in the hair. You have uh, a lot of way of creating your own financial wealth and stability, but it's as if you are going in the mode of uh, the Virgo people in order to recognize uh, um, what you want because it's as if you have so much things going up at once for you you're going to be making money but um it's as if especially self-employed people or people who have just lost the job or people who were um got less hours people who are like teachers you know teachers um people who um or on leave, that sort of a thing. But it's more like teachers who they have two months free and they're trying to figure out, uh, you know, what is it? What is better to do? Because I can balance out these situations. So however it's happening and transpiring, it's about you finding balance in uh, what you want to do and balance at the workplace. Because I see a lot of you have been having a whole lot to do. It's as if things that pile up on you and now you're finding some sort of a balance in order to uh, resolve these things. And this is going to be good. So wonderful, wonderful alignment of energies. So this balance is going to be created for a lot of you and a lot of you are going to be recognizing that, you know, there is just multiple things, but I can't make the choice. I don't know how to make the choice. So, um, because there's multiple things going on at once for me. And I see that, you know, you're going to be recognizing this and understanding that I need to find that one thing to do that is going to be bringing some sort of a balance in my world. And this is going to be good. Um, as we look at the second week, the second week is the 28th until the 3rd of June. 
your financial worries is going to be okay because it says if some of you were thinking what to do you know what direction are you going to be self-employed or, or are you going to be half self-employed or half employed so it could be that you know you took some time to really think because some there was too much fires going up and um you were thinking about you know should you leave a job should you you know how should you create a, a safe a financial way forward for yourself and you're going to be finding that out so a lot of you could be taking on a new job in the second week uh huh yeah a new job in the second week or getting extra um uh, work time in the second week and this is going to be good so um wonderful alignment of energies is going to be coming up and this is going to be good because a lot of you have been trying to figure out and you know it could be that some of you have been just out stressed out stressed out just being stressed out because there's so many things that you need to get done so many things that needs to be resolved so many works so many projects that you started and never finished so many um work on your desk that was placed you keep on piling up piling up piling up and now you're going to be um doing this and a lot of you are going to be getting some sort of a overtime or some sort of a business or overtime and this is going to be good so this is positive so um whenever we look at the energy of uh, the five of uh, pentacles this energy of the five of pentacles is about mercury in taurus okay mercury in taurus and um it's as if you're going to, some of you are going to be starting to communicate with people especially if you're um in a job or in a um service working um you're paid whether bi-monthly or um by tinder you have salary and you're going to be start thinking whether or not you should go and become your own manager because you're recognizing that this is something that is going to be pushing me in the correct direction you're going to be wondering you know uh, is it this uh, um can i do this is this viable for me and you're going to be recognizing you know maybe that is uh, the direction and the push that i needed something happens to you something alert you something show you and um, that you maybe you needed to be in that direction to push you in and um, that direction forward and i see that you're going to be recognizing maybe it's just a conversation because it is mercury in in taurus and um some of you some sort of a communication is coming up with your boss in the second week and this is the week of the 28th until um the third where some sort of a communication between you and your boss uh, is going to be setting you on a thinking part. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Really going to be setting you on a part thinking of, uh, you know, your stand in a company, your position in a company, and how you, whatever the information that is going to be transferring between you and your boss could be coming out successful for you because of something that this person has said that let you recognize that hey um if this person can do it i can do it too and a lot of you are going to be seeing this and it's going to be formalizing and recognizing hey and um, this person could have just given me the idea that I was looking for or waiting for. So some sort of a communication with management. If you're a manager, some sort of a communication is going to be awakening you to something that is going to be pushing you in a direction that you never expected to end up going in. And this wasn't something that you were thinking about in order to call you towards that direction. And you're going to be now recognizing, hey, this is uh, maybe what I need to do and how I need to resolve uh, and see what direction is best for me um, in um, a company, in a business, in um, self-employed, you know, what, what, what it is 
whatever communication you're going to be having in the second week with some sort of a management is going to be making you find out something about yourself or something that or some information is going to lead you um, down a new direction and that is going to be good the third week the third week is uh, the week of the fourth until the 10 is going to be a very very beautiful week and why it's because you have the sword of truth and the sword of truth is that you're going to be speaking your truth okay so um, whatever is happening around you, Aries, you could be going, if you're going for a, um, if you're going for a, um, um, uh, applying for a job and going for an interview, it is going to be great. It is going to be great. Okay. You have the spark of energy. Communication is going to be good in the third week. So if you're applying for anything, anything that you have to communicate, customer service, whatever is going on, communication is going to be very key in the third week. The third week is the week where you have to say whether to your boss or whether to your co-workers or whether to some sort of a business partner, communication is going to be the key. So applying for a job is going to be good in the third week. Anything asking for a salary increase is going to be good. Applying, um, communicating, applying for um, some sort of a help um, for your business. Yes, it's going to be good in the, the third week. Anything that is going on where you have to communicate, the third week is going to be the best week, anything you ask for. So um, if you want to know um, what is going to be happening with the communication, in the third week, look under the energy of the dice, okay? Some sort of a communication is coming in in the third week. And it's going to be you having the sword. And you're not using it in a bad way. You're using it in a pleasant way because you're bringing clarity. You yourself could be having clarity as what direction. Because um, the Ace of Swords is about... Uh, um, Clear mental thinking. It's as if your mental thinking is going to be clear. <clears throat> and because of that, you can communicate and everything is it's just going to be, uh, communication-wise, it's just going to be absolutely, absolutely fantastic in the week of uh, um, the 4th until the 10th. Then we're looking at the last week, and that's kind of tricky in a sense because the energy of uh, the lovers is in reverse, and it's about contract. Uh, and that is the fourth week, which is the week of the 11th until the 20th. And when we look at this energy, we see partnership, okay? So partnership with Kansas and Geminis, you are going to be ending some sort of a partnership with Geminis. You're going to be um, taking the partnership up with other people. But I see that you are going to be communicating um, um, and whatever you communicate is going to be, um, a Gemini and a Cancer. So you could be, um, dissolving a contract for a Gemini and a Cancer. Okay. Um, so this, this energy of the lover is about, always about contracts, about partnership. And some of you definitely the partnership has to do with a Cancer and a Gemini or a Gemini. Okay, so some of you is a Cancer, some of you are a Gemini, okay? And you could be recognizing that this Cancer or Gemini, um, you could be dissolving their contract or you could be finding out that their contract, their partnership or contract, or agreement is going to be dissolved, okay? So it's a situation where um you could be the boss you could be um deciding to end these uh, two people cancer and a gemini contract or you could be um looking at their contract whether in order to find out what you're going to be doing are you going to be giving them a new start or, or are you going to be dissolving their contract so it is a serious situation because it's a about agreements and it's about you not uh, really know whether or not you want 
to go further with an agreement, with a contract, okay? And I see that uh, you're going to be communicating this and I see, um, you know, check out. Let's say that you receive some sort of a partnership um, from a Cancer or a Gemini and you are going to be, uh, if you want to know whether or not uh, um, this partnership or this agreement uh, is going to be a yes, check out the energy of the ring. Because a lot of you, so, um, you know, a lot of you Aries have been waiting, waiting for some sort of a partnership, waiting to hear whether or not you're going to be receiving some sort of an offer from a Cancer or a Gemini. And in the last week, the week of uh, the, the 11th until the 20th is when um, communication about this partnership is going to be coming in. Um, some of you... Um, it's going to be a no for a Cancer and a Gemini. Some of you um, will take partnership from other people, but um, partnership for a Cancer or a Gemini is going to be ended. There is no certainty of uh, this collaboration that you had or that uh, um, you had some sort of an agreement or partnership for some people. So it depends on who you are, what you're looking for, what is happening, what is being adjusted in your life with a partnership. But I see you're going to be speaking up. Okay. So you could be get, receiving some sort of an offer, uh, offer in uh, the, the fourth week. Whether or not you're going to be taking it is up to you. For some of you, this is like, um, it's not going to be happening. Um, for you if it has if it has anything to do with a cancer or a gemini but for the rest of the people it could be a yes i do love you guys thumbs um thumbs up in order for these videos to pick up the algorithm again go check out your symbol see which symbols falls in you and i'm gonna say until next time <laughs>